Hey guys, welcome back to Gamertube. Today we're going to do something a little different. I wanted to share with you five custom design paths you can make in the design app on your Nook phone. And yes, I am aware there is terraforming and also you unlock the Able Sisters later in the game. They allow you to get custom designs from other users. But hey, this video is more for viewers who haven't unlocked them yet. And even if you have unlocked them, why not make something of your own? We're all quarantined, at home, why not spend your time doing something creative? Okay, so join me outside and we'll go make our first custom path. Alrighty, welcome to the testing zone. The zone where we test things. So the first path we're going to make is a stone path. Okay, so go to fill all and select your clear color. Next, go to your change palette and go all the way down and select the grays. Now for stone, you want to use a dark base coat. So we'll start with a dark gray and just start drawing out some random rock shapes. Make them as big or as small as you'd like. Okay, so once you're done with your rocks, uh, fill them in with the paint bucket tool or the fill tool. Okay, so now for the second layer. Now what you want to do is trace around the front of the rocks and leave some of the darker color showing behind. And what we're going to do is we're going to gradually build up in that color. So we're starting with a slightly lighter gray and then we will build up to a lighter and lighter gray till we get to the highlight color. Once you're done with all your outlines, fill in with the paint bucket. Now it's time to start with the third layer. Okay, so now for our lightest uh, highlight of the rocks is going to be the lighter grey and just thinly trace out the outlines and you will see a gradient build up. So we've got the dark, the mid-tone, the highlight and the edge highlight as well. And there you have it, you have your random river stone or stone path. Now laying these out is a bit of a pain, you have to go into your custom design app lay on the floor, do that for each panel. And there you go, your custom stone path. All right, so now we're gonna make a brick path. So what you wanna do is go to your palette and go down to the colors that you think uh, look the most natural and red brick-like. Uh, this one looks good, gonna pick that one. Okay, now go to the fill tool. And you wanna use a very dark base color. As with most of these dark base colors, you work up and go light. So we'll start off with going to the big pen tool and we will make two cross paths. So now go to your smaller pen and we will make little gaps in between these two little brick paths that we've made. Okay, now it's time for the bricks. And there we have it, that is our brick path. Now, a cool little cheat that you can do is if you want to make like a gray or a dark stone path, what you can do is you can copy and paste it in your custom designs, go to the color palette and change down to the bottom gray colors because what it'll do is it'll copy it and it'll just change it automatically. And there you go, we've got gray stone brick paths. Okay, so we're gonna try and make a like a wooden log path that's kind of tied with like vines and you know, jungle stuff. So once again, we pick the clear color and hit the paint bucket tool. And now we are gonna draw out our logs. So as always, start with your dark base color. Now we wanna imitate the look of the freshly cut logs. So like the insides of it, the rings. So what we do is we pick the lightest color and then we leave 
just two squares to symbolize the inside of the tree in the ring. Alrighty, looking good. So now it's time for some edge highlights. So now it's time to do the rope that ties together the logs, give it more of that realistic feel that these logs are lashed together and, you know, held together. Alrighty, so there you have it, log paths. Okay, so for our final path, I'm going to attempt to make like an industrial metal floor. Let's see what I come up with. Okay, so just like the bricks, I'm going to make two little sides. So with the same colour, I'm going to start making the metal panels. Okay, and once again, we are going to just outline and just trace the bottoms of these panels with a slightly lighter grey. Once you're done with that, it's time to go to an even lighter grey, but go one space behind so we still get that layering effect or that shiny effect that we're trying to get when we're trying to make metal. Now with an even lighter grey, we're going to make a little bit of a shine just in the middle. And now go all the way to white and make that middle shine. So it's a super gleamy, super shiny metal. All right, we'll go to the black color. We'll put some rivets in. Well, oh, make sure they're aligned. I'm not very good with my hand-eye coordination and aligning stuff, but you get the gist. And there we have it. So these are metal panel paths, pretty much. Yeah, metal panel paths. I like that. Alrighty, so these are all our paths. I think they came out pretty good, if I do say so myself. I hope this has inspired you guys to go out and make your own custom paths. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.